already. So this is a follow up video to my prior video, which was adding visual effects uh, to weapon animations um, using DS Anim Studio. Um, if you were there for that and you saw that, um, great. You're, you're on track, you're, 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 you're following along. If you already know how to do that, great as well. Uh, if you have no clue, like what half of the things I said there were, maybe go back and watch the video and then come back. Um, this one we're going to be adding uh, like damage to the little shock wave that we added. Uh, that will require some param editing and stuff like that though. So I would suggest engaging in some form of uh, my prior videos touching on such things if you have absolutely no clue what editing params means. Um, if you're still on board though, the stuff you're going to need for this is going to be the Anim Studio and DS Map Studio, uh, which has the built-in param editor. Um, and then the, the usual kind of mod engine, that kind of stuff. For get set up and loading the mods and all that but um what we're gonna do first and foremost is we're gonna open up ds map studio here all right so here we are in map studio um, i'm not gonna touch really on getting it set up because i have a video on it and um it's it's pretty straightforward so if you don't have a setup check out my guide on getting it set up um and then meet me back here uh we're just gonna go over to the param editor tab here in our current project that we're working on uh, things that are going to be kind of of note here for us are going to be the bullet tab, the behavior param PC or player character tab, and the attack param PC tab here. Um, for this video in specific, we're going to just be touching on um, like player character bullet effects and attack effects. Um, because you can pull boss effects like the giant laser that Astle shoots at your face and dunks on you with. Uh, you can use that to shoot out of the end of your sword, but there are more steps involved in getting that set up. So this one's going to be just using the player character uh, behavior param, bullet params, and that kind of stuff. So uh, for the little nice little boom that we've got going on for our... Uh, katana being sheathed if you saw that in the last video um i want something that does kind of like that ground pound like shockwave thing and the axe of godric is a really good uh thing for that in my opinion it, you know you get that nice little like ground smash and it this little earthquake or whatever it's cool it's tight um so i'll explain just kind of what this means and looks like uh for the ds am studio um to plug in the information, we are actually looking for a behavior ID, and that's what you plug in. So we're going to be going about um, situating one of these uh, bullet params to be plug-inable, for lack of better words. So uh, first, I came down into bullet here just to kind of search um, for the Godric stuff. This is the Axe of Godric attack here great cool tight that's what's up doesn't really matter we're just going to stay this one on the top and then over here on the right we can see the attack id uh ram and all of that kind of good good so um we're just looking for the end here 4905 4905 4905 right and we're gonna go into behavior param because like I mentioned, this is where we're gonna be needing to rip an ID from. Um, but checking in bullet to see that a bullet even exists for it is generally a good idea. So we're gonna go up into bullet or behavior param and then I already have it found here. You can search it up in the search bar, but I've already highlighted it. So ending in 4905, Axe of Godric. Great, that's what's up. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and control C on it to copy it and then control V to paste it and make a new row. Um, I suggest starting with something like nine jillion and stinkers. So down here, I already made a new row copying one of those things. Um, it's named America's Hammer for some reason, but you can start at like 
six zero 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 one whatever you you see the number you get it you you're you're grasping what i'm i'm putting out for you um so make that new line uh that's a duplicate of whatever behavior it is that you were wanting to copy You've got your regular ass ID with its row prefix, its weapon behavior ID, and its behavior judge ID. You get it. Or you don't. And if you don't, I apologize. Um, and then you just literally want to go ahead and just save it as it is. So we've got this right here, nice and saved for us. Beautiful. We're gonna have a, go ahead and just minimize that. And then we will open up the Anim Studio here for us. And then I want that nice little boom boom to happen kind of at the epicenter of our like shadowy darkness boom boom or whatever. Uh, so I'm literally just going to go ahead and control C and then control V to duplicate the effect that we already made before, the visual effect. And then I'm actually just going to go ahead and change this from spawn one shot FX to invoke bullet behavior because we're adding a bullet behavior. The dummy poly that we want to change to uh, the order here changed up um, from the one shot. So dummy poly is there and then on this one it's at the top. So we're just going to change this one to 260 at the top. And then attack index, we don't want to do attack index for bullet behavior, so that's a zero. And then behavior judge ID, this is where things are a little bit tricky. Uh, it's not really that tricky, but basically that number that you want to punch in is the first digit of the row. And then the last three of the row. So it would be 6001. So we just come in here and do 6001. And then attachment type, don't really need to touch that. Um, state info, don't really need to touch any of this stuff. You just go in here and click enable right here for this stuff. And then these things you can just leave alone to the best of my memory. So. Uh, we will go ahead and just make all of this stuff zeros. So 260, zero, behavior judge, enable, cool beans. And then I'm going to go ahead and just click save for that. It's going to give you a little crapper here if you don't have it already like situated. Uh, or the game already like, running in the background because it'll try and inject the change uh, but if the game's not running, then it's not going to have anything to inject to, so. So we're in the game now. I'm just really going to quickly tab out, and I'm going to re-save the changes here. I'm going to pull that back over, and then I'm going to just re-save it so that it actually reloads the character there and shows those changes happening. And I'm going to yank that off the screen here. And then, theoretically, when we sheathe... It should also do the little ground pound effect around. I don't know if you could see it. I'll do it again here. That like orange ring around the outside was not there before. You can kind of hear like the bang of it now. So I'm going to run down here and you'll see that it now does damage when uh, that animation plays out now. So if you really wanted to, you could run around and bully people by sheathing your sword. But that is effectively how you would add a uh, some form of damage to the visual effects that you can add. Uh, the same thing can actually also be done with like a, you can shoot like a black knife blade off of the end of your sword too. Uh, so I'm I'll go ahead and really quickly show that off maybe. 